Pakistan has the world's fourth highest rate of water use, while its water intensity rate is the highest in the world. According to the IMF, Pakistan's per capita annual water availability is 1,017 cubic meters, which is dangerously close to the scarcity threshold of 1,000 cubic meters. The menace of water scarcity in Pakistan has been accompanied by rising temperatures, as in 2015, at least 1,200 people died during a spate of extremely hot weather. If the government doesn't act fast in the future, results could be disastrous. If we want to manage all the problems of water that are emerging because of the climate disaster this whole world is facing, then we have to act now. And whether it is planting trees, whether it is recycling water, whether it is cleaning up all our water bodies, whether it is learning to live with less water, and that requires a policy framework. Unfortunately, we have uh, spent a lot of time not doing a policy, and we are still debating about whether water policy is the domain of the provinces or the domain of the federation government. Pakistan is our country. Its land and water belongs to all of us. It is the responsibility of the federal government or the federation to ensure that this resource is shared fairly and equally among all the people of Pakistan. Until recently, Pakistan did not have a national water policy. But at Hisar Foundation, we are pleased that last year in uh, May of 2018, the provinces and the federation did issue a national water policy on which there was a consensus. However, issuing a policy isn't enough as an implementation framework hasn't yet been issued by the government. If implemented, the people of Pakistan will benefit from the policy. In order to see off climate change, Pakistan needs to employ smarter and less water-intensive practices. The focus of future reforms should be on improving water use efficiency, especially in the agricultural sector, which continues to be the largest consumer of water. From NBI's platform, we are working towards promoting smart agriculture in Pakistan. It's a phase-wise approach, starting with educating our masses. Unfortunately, our farmers and the technical skills in this area require massive education and skill building. So the first stage, we are developing a framework, a policy framework uh, for the STEPTA and all the regional vocational training institute so that we can develop a policy and educational framework so that we can train our farmers and young students right from class 9 to class 12 on agriculture first and then smart agriculture. Second step is to work with companies which are already promoting smart agriculture, like there are a few companies in Pakistan which have started working in the drip farming area, dehydration, solar dehydration. So how to engage them? Because right now they are working at a very small scale. So work with them to develop a long-term plan.